Galaxy Unpack 2023 just finished and you guys know Samsung has announced the brand new Galaxy Z Fold 5 as well as also the Flip 5 which is brand new cover display. Now besides the new displays, hinges, there are also some improved speakers. And in this video, as you know, we're going to be doing a speaker test to find out how well do these speakers sound and also how do, well do they compare to the competition. And in this case, we're talking about the Flip 4, the Fold 4, as well as also the brand new Pixel Fold, the Motorola Razr Plus or 40 Ultra, depending on where you are, and the S23 Ultra, and finally, of course, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, the idea is to see is this better and do we have better audio quality overall? Now, Dolby Atmos will be, of course, turned on on all devices that does do support Dolby Atmos. But before we go ahead, smash that subscribe button, notification icon, so you can watch more videos like this. And now, let's listen to some audio from music and, of course, some dialogue. finally over. The Sony WF-1000 Mark V's are finally here and yes, these are the latest from Sony in their true wireless buds. Now, why are these really important and special and how well do they stack up to everything else? Let's start off with just looking at what the XM5s bring to the table and how it's improved from the XM4. Now, the XM5 price, price point... All right, the wait is finally over. The Sony WF-1000 Mark V's are finally here, and yes, these are the latest from Sony in their true wireless buds. Now, why are these really important and special, and how well do they stack up to everything else? Let's start off with just looking at what the XM5s bring to the table and how it's improved from the XM4. Now, the XM5 price, price point... All right, the wait is finally over. The Sony WF-1000 Mark V's are finally here, and yes, 
these are the latest from Sony in their true wireless buds. Now, why are these really important and special and how well do they stack up to everything else? Let's start off with just looking at what the XM5 is bringing to the table and how it's improved from the XM4. Now, the XM5 price, price point. All right, the wait is finally over. The Sony WF-1000 Mark Vs are finally here. And yes, these are the latest from Sony in their true wireless buds. Now, why are these really important and special and how well do they stack up to everything else? Let's start off with just looking at what the XM5 is bringing to the table and how it's improved from the XM4. Now, the XM5 price, price point. All right, the wait is finally over. The Sony WF-1000 Mark Vs are finally here. And yes, these are the latest from Sony in their true wireless buds. Now, why are these really important and special and how well do they stack up to everything else? Let's start off with just looking at what the XM5 is bringing to the table and how it's improved from the XM4. Now, the XM5 price, price point. All right, the wait is finally over. The Sony WF-1000 Mark Vs are finally here. And yes, these are the latest from Sony in their true wireless buds. Now, why are these really important and special and how well do they stack up to everything else? Let's start off with just looking at what the XM5 is bringing to the table and how it's improved from the XM4. Now, the XM5 price, price point. All right, the wait is finally over. The Sony WF-1000 Mark Vs are finally here. And yes, these are the latest from Sony in their true wireless buds. Now, why are these really important and special and how well do they stack up to everything else? Let's start off with just looking at what the XM5 is bringing to the table and how it's improved from the XM4. Now, the XM5 price, price point. All right, the wait is finally over. The Sony WF-1000 Mark Vs are finally here. And yes, these are the latest from Sony in their true wireless buds. Now, why are these really important and special and how well do they stack up to everything else? Let's start off with just looking at what the XM5 is bringing to the table and how it's improved from the XM4. Now, the XM5 price, price point. That was truly impressive in the fact that every single speaker sounded good. Now, I'm glad that we've gone past the days where we've got a lot of terrible speakers on smartphones, and it's good to see that the competition and also every manufacturer here has done a really good job with the speakers. But we're here to find out who exactly won. So let's start off, of course, with music. And uh, for me, I think the Z Fold 5 clearly had the loudest and also the best sounding, in my opinion. Uh, really solid in terms of just the highs and also some really good bass coming out of that as well. I also will say the Z Flip uh, 5 also has some really great improvements from the Z Flip 4 from last year, which is nice to see. Now, the uh, Pixel Fold, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, iPhone 14 Pro Max, all kind of sound really good in the same. And I'll put them there. And I think the worst sounding out of the bunch would be the Flip 4 from last year. Now, when it comes to dialogue and just listening to conversations or just hearing, of course, someone talking, whether it's a podcast or you're watching, of course, a border work video, uh, this is where I find some things very interesting. Now, every single Galaxy device has some a little bit of distortion on the very high end. And you can hear it clearly on the Fold 5, the Flip 5, the Flip 4, the Fold 4, as well as also the S23 Ultra. Now they were still loud and clear, but there was just a little bit of distortion there, which kind of like gives me a ding there in that department. I did like the audio quality here from the iPhone 14 Pro Max, as well as also the Pixel Fold. And I think also Motorola did a really good job. In terms of worse sounding, it still would be the Flip 4. Uh, and the best sound out of the galaxies would actually be, and in my case, I think it's the Flip 5. Now, overall, I like what I've seen here. And if I were to pick a winner out of all these devices, I will still go with the Galaxy Z Fold 5. I think it still was the loudest and also gave some really good audio when it's into music. Besides the minor distortion there at the very top end, which I think can be fixed with a software update, it sounded really, really good. Now the Flip 5 was the biggest improvement from the Flip 4 from last year. But overall, any of these devices are great. And if you guys want to pick one up, use the links down below in this video. 
But I want to know from you guys, what do you think? Who actually won this battle? Who had the best speakers? Was it the Fold 5, the Flip 5, or was it something else like the Pixel Fold or even the Motorola Razr Plus? Or if you're an iPhone fan, then maybe it's the iPhone. Let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.